A police official says all 29 men trapped in a coal shaft are dead. Last Friday, this ferocious explosion tore through the mine, trapping the workers. And just a few hours ago, officials say a second explosion rattled the shaft, likely dooming those 29 miners. Now, officials have said the air in the shaft was toxic, full of methane and carbon monoxide gases. Two robots were sent into the mine to search for the men, but both failed. Now, the police superintendent in charge of the rescue operation briefed the families, then talked with the reporters. Listen. I informed the Republic of New Zealand at 2.37 today there was another massive explosion underground and uh, based on that explosion no one survived and we are now going into a recovery mode. I would imagine the work with the robots won't continue at this stage. Uh, we will continue to monitor gas if it's safe to do so. Um, I'm not sure what the status of the borehole is that we were measuring from but if we can continue to monitor we will because this is still an ongoing operation. We still have to understand how we can re-enter the mine or what we need to do about the mine, how we, can, how we can deal with what we've got, because we've still got 29 men in there and we need to get them out. And understandably, all of New Zealand has suddenly been plunged into mourning on hearing news of the miners' deaths. Just a few moments ago, New Zealand's Prime Minister made a statement from Government House in Wellington and he called the mine disaster a national tragedy. Well, like every New Zealander, I'd hoped for that miracle. And uh, I think like most people, I recognised the, the intensity of the first explosion when I had an opportunity to view the video footage. Um, so I think we all had a sense at that point of what we were dealing with. Um, but in my heart of hearts, I just hoped that there would be some miners, or obviously all of the miners, that somehow found a way to safety. New Zealand's Prime Minister there and officials say the missing men are believed to have been spread throughout the mine with perhaps half trapped in one area. So now mine officials of course will have to figure out when and how to reach their bodies.